What is up YouTube? Happy Halloween! I'm Choctopus and today we're gonna do something very special in honor of Halloween, something very spooky! Today we are going to highlight the 12 creepiest, I don't know why I picked 12, it's a random number, but we ended up with 12. The 12 creepiest Pokedex entries in the Pokemon series. Now, we're all familiar with uh, the cute and cuddly Pokemon that appear in the games and the anime, but how many of you have actually read through the Pokedex and all the entries for each Pokemon? There's some pretty dark and creepy stuff in there, and today we're going to talk about it. Now, if you like this video, be sure to smash the like button right now, and if you're new here, please consider hitting the subscribe button if you do enjoy the video. We have a sub goal of 5,000 by the end of 2017, and you can help me get there. But without further ado, let's get right into it and talk about the 12 creepiest Pokedex entries in the Pokemon series. Here we go. Number 12, Phantom. Now, Phantom came from Pokemon X and Y, and according to Pokemon Y's Pokedex entry, according to old tales, and this is verbatim, according to old tales, these Pokemon are stumps possessed by the spirits of children who died while lost in the forest. So, phantoms are essentially the spirits of dead children that got lost, died of starvation, or whatever killed them, another Pokemon maybe, and decayed. And now they are phantoms, which is pretty creepy. What is scarier than a dead child ghost? Now, phantom may look cute, but next time you think phantom's cute, Think again, and just remember what Phantom really is. Number 11, Lampin, the Lamp Pokemon, which originated from Pokemon Black and White, and the Pokedex entry from Pokemon X states, The spirits it absorbs fuel its baleful fire. It hangs around hospitals waiting for people to pass on. That's some pretty dark stuff. This Pokemon basically just hangs around hospitals and waits for people to die, and then it basically sucks up their soul, which fuels the fire inside of it. So it's just hanging around waiting for people to pass on. This is what I'm saying. The Pokedex has so many dark entries that I honestly, I didn't know until I did a little bit of research that there's a lot of this stuff. So let's get on. Let's talk about number nine. Sorry, number 10. I can't count. Haunter. One of the OG Pokemon and my personal favorite Pokemon of all time. Now, Haunter stems from Pokemon Red and Blue, and the uh, Pokedex entry reads, It strikes at humans from total darkness. Those licked by its cold tongue grow weaker with each passing day until they die. I wish Haunter would lick me. So, if you're licked by Haunter, then you just decay over time. You just slowly wither away if Haunter licks you. That's crazy. Number nine, Glally, which came from Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. The Sapphire Pokedex entry states, Glally has the ability to freely control ice. Okay. For example, it can instantly freeze its foe solid. After mobilizing its foe in ice, this Pokemon enjoys eating it in a leisurely fashion. So Glally freezes you and then it just casually dines on your flesh. And that's how it gets its nourishment. Not to mention, Glally is a pretty horrifying looking Pokemon as it is. So just imagine that thing freezing you and then dining on you. Order up! Number 8, Palisand, the Sand Castle Pokemon, came from Pokemon Sun and Moon. And the Moon entry states, Buried beneath the castle are masses of dried bones from those whose vitality it has drained. So, here's another one that basically feasts on your, your flesh and bones. So, Palisand buries enemies. So, if you dig up a Palisand, there's just piles of bones underneath it. It's a graveyard. Number seven, Cacturn, which came from Ruby and Sapphire. This one messed me up real good. So, the Alpha Sapphire Pokedex entry reads, If a traveler is going through a desert in the thick of night, Cacturn will follow in a ragtag group the Pokemon are binding, biding their time, waiting for the Traveler to tire and become incapable of moving. So it's a bunch of sentient cacti, cactuses, cacti? That just wait for Travelers to grow tired and then it murders them. Note to self, don't get lost in the desert. And I like how they refer to it as a ragtag group. So it's not just one Cacturn, it's many 
Cacturn. Number six, Sligu. And Sligu may appear adorable until you hear its Pokedex entry. So it came from Pokemon X and Y and the Sun. So I there's two Pokedex entries here that differ. One's from Sun, one's from Moon. They're both equally creepy. The Sun Pokedex entry states, it has trouble drawing a line between friends and food. It will calmly try to melt and eat even those it gets along well with. That's from Sun. Now Moon adds on to this by saying, the Pokemon's mucus can dissolve anything. Toothless, it sprays mucus on its prey. Once they're nicely dissolved, it slurps them up. So it sprays its acidic mucus, waits for its enemy to melt, and then it drinks them. Sligu's milkshake brings all the Pokemon to the yard. Number five, the Yamask coming from black and white. The black Pokedex entry states, each of them carries a mask that used to be its face when it was human. Sometimes they look at it and cry. I know how they feel. Sometimes I look in the mirror and cry. So Yamask is a human that has died and then they're a spirit that just carries a mask of their face around. If I was a Yamask, I would need a mask for my mask. While that Pokedex entry is creepy, it's also kind of sad. Poor Yamask. Number four, Darumaka, and this one is kind of weird. Darumaka comes from Pokemon Black and White, and the white Pokedex entry states, Darumaka's droppings are hot. Poop. So people used to put them in their clothes to keep themselves warm. You know those ice, uh, those hot packs that you could get in like the pharmacy that you, you could put like in your in your gloves or you could put in your boots on a cold day and it warms you up. People are essentially doing that with feces. That one is definitely more weird than creepy, but I 1000% think it deserves a spot on the list, which is why I got one. Number three, Mimic You, and personally one of my recent favorite Pokemon coming from Sun and Moon. Mimic You is basically a horribly crafted Pikachu doll that you know, wants to be Pikachu, and it's not. The Pokedex entry from Sun states, its actual appearance is unknown, so it's basically a Pikachu sheet that sits on top of whatever's under it. A scholar who saw what was under its rag was overwhelmed by terror and died from the shock. So this thing is so horrifying to look at, the person who looked at it just died after they saw it. Another entry that's actually kind of sad because the Pokemon Mimikyu just wants to be loved. That's why it wears a Pikachu sheet over its body because it knows how loved Pikachu is. And I think I remember reading that before Sun and Moon came out and they introduced Mimikyu. Um, I think it was one of the developers did a little backstory on it. And that's why I grew to love Mimikyu. All right, we're coming down to the final couple here. Number two is Gorobis. Gorobis is a fish Pokemon and it came from Ruby and Sapphire. And the Alpha Sapphire Pokedex entry states, Although Gorobis is very picture of elegance and beauty while swimming, it is also cruel. When it spots its prey, this Pokemon inserts its thin mouth into the prey's body and drains the prey of its bodily fluids. It basically sucks the blood out of you. It's like a mosquito fish thing. <laughs> So it sucks the fluids out of you, and then you shrivel up, and you die. Number one, and this one I personally thought was the creepiest, Drifloon. Yes, the balloon Pokemon. And how could Drifloon possibly be creepy or, or dark? It's a balloon, for crying out loud. But Drifloon, coming from Diamond and Pearl, and I almost forgot how far back Drifloon actually goes. So the Pokedex entry from Sun, which is the most recent one, states... Stories go that it grabs the hands of small children and drags them away to the afterlife. It dis it dislikes heavy children. You hear that, parents? Get your kids nice and fat, feed them candy bars, and Drifloon won't even bother with them. So Drifloon is basically death. It grabs children, small children, by the hand and just carries them away until the afterlife, and they're dead. Just the thought of this little balloon Pokemon just wrapping its its little arm around a child's arm and just carrying them away really gives me the creeps. So those were my top 12 creepiest Pokedex entries. Let me know in the comments below which Pokemon 
or Pokedex entry do you think is the creepiest? I wanted to do something a little different from Halloween, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, you know what to do. Smash that thumbs up button. Happy Halloween. Let me know in the comments below. Also, what are you being for Halloween if you're dressing up? If you're new here, remember we're trying to hit that sub goal. Smash the sub button, and let's get to 5,000 by the end of 2017. If you want to follow me on social media, I have Twitter and Instagram links in the description below, along with a sponsor link. So if you do really enjoy my content and you want to take it a step further, you can sponsor me for a couple bucks a month, and it will help me get new equipment so I can get rid of this ugly background I have and get a green screen, finally. Um, you can also join my Discord channel if you want to come chat, play some games, or whatever. That's all we got. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you in the next one. Have an awesome day. Have a great Halloween. Peace.